Welcome to Aurora Chemistry for everyone. Let us analyze how to write that IUPAC name for the given compound. Here the compound is given in bond line formula. According to IUPAC rule, we should give preference for the longest parent chain. Also, if the longest parent chain containing functional group, the functional group should get the lowest possible number. So we can give that numbering for this compound from left to right or right to left. If you start from left to right, 1, 7. So it will end up with a 7 member parent chain. Now we can start from right to left. But if you go from right to left, again we will get that 7 member parent chain only. So instead of going straight, we will change our direction and we will try. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now we come down 6, 7. 8, 9, 10. So this results in 10 member parent chain. Here is a format. So using the format, now we are going to write the IUPAC name. So this parent chain containing that 10 carbon atoms. So the root word is DEC. There is a double bond. So E and E. That is also in the fourth position. So 4 E and E. Any secondary suffix, there is no other function group. So secondary suffix is absent. Then for primary prefix, this compound is not in cyclic. This compound is not a cyclic compound. So the word cyclo is absent. Primary prefix is absent. Then for the secondary prefix, you can see that some substituents are there. For example, you can see in the third position, one methyl group is attached. Then in the fifth position, ethyl group, one, two. So ethyl group. Then again in sixth position also, we have that ethyl group. So let us write three methyl. Then two ethyl groups are present. That is also in different position, five, six. So we can write like five, six diethyl. According to alphabetical order, ethyl group get the preference over methyl group. So while writing that IUPAC name, we are writing 5,6-diethyl, then only we are writing 3-methyl. So 5,6-diethyl, 3-methyl, DEC, 4-ene is the IUPAC name for this compound. Thanks for watching.